Hi, everybody. I've been left unsupervised, so I'm here about 45 seconds early. I couldn't wait. <laughs> so hello. Hello, everybody. I am Jamie Macon. And you only get to see me today because the husband is actually out in the garage working on some stuff. <laughs> um, he is greasy from fingertips to elbows, and he just needs to keep that out there. So we're going to let him. <clears throat> but um, you still have me. That is okay, right? Right? It's okay enough. Anyway, um, I mean, he is the pretty one. So I don't know. You're going to have to deal with me today. <laughs> so hello, my friends. Thank you for joining. I always want to say us, but I'm joining me today. Um, today, I want to show you how to vintage a new t-shirt design. Um, and I've got this fun little view so you can see, nope, this way. You can see me. <laughs> okay. That's love of that. Uh, but we have, first, we have treats here for Louie because um, I promised a friend, hey, Telly and Nikki, hello. I promised my friend Sarah that Louie would get treats while we did the video. So here, Lou. Poodle. Here, a cookie. Poodle is happy. <laughs> okay. So we're going to vintage up these t-shirts. I was really tired of um, all the plain t-shirts I had in my closet. So we're going to unplane them and we're going to vintage them. Um, this design here is the, what month are we? October Club Couture design. It's so just a reminder, friendly reminder. Club Couture is the subscription program where you get um, a exclusive transfer sent to you every single month and three pastes. Plus, in your very first order, your first subscription box, you'll get a brand new catalog. So you know everything that's happening, all of the products. And there are specials and sales and things exclusively for our club members. It is only $19.99 a month in U.S. and $26.99 a month Canadian. Telly, I am very excited that you are catching us live. <laughs> I'm going to say us through this whole thing, but it's just me, guys. Have it. Um, so this is the exclusive October design, and I want this on a t-shirt. I think this is going to look fantastic on this color in particular. Um, so firstly, well, I should also tell you that all of the things that we're going to use today are in the link in the description box. So should you decide, oh my God, I need to do this, everything is there except for the club membership. There is a separate link for that because I can't, I can't link that. Um, the husband is out in the garage. So next month, no, two Mondays, we are going to be in Boston. We have Chuck Couture does this thing called Couture Tours for all of our designers. And they actually kind of tour the country and um, make some stops and actually visit people. So we're uh, husband's nephew lives out in Boston. So we're going to go out and see him catch up with a couple friends while we're out there. And we're going to like make a whole thing of it. And my birthday is next Friday and his birthday is in October. So this trip kind of happens like right in the middle. So we're actually going to kind of go, we're going to go out to Boston. We're going to hang out with some people. We're going to do some chalky stuff. And then we're going to actually go up into New Hampshire. And we found a cute little bed and breakfast. Nope. I keep calling it a bed and breakfast. It's a Airbnb um, that we're going to stay at that is perfectly placed for us. The mountains are here and the lakes are here and the Airbnb is right there. <laughs> I ran out of hands. So, <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Tally. I, our birthday's I love my birthday and I love his birthday. He couldn't care less about either of them. Well, he likes my birthday, but hi, Teresa and Jessica. Hello. Oh, are you doing? Oh, well, we're doing two today, Jess, which I need to message you later. Remind me of that. Hey, Sarah. All right. So this 
this is actually one of my very favorite techniques to do on a t-shirt because I did this to one of my husband's shirts um, last year. And then I was really, really jealous that I did it to his shirt and not a shirt for me. So now I do this to all of them. This is super simple, you guys. So let's start with the setup here. So obviously I have my t-shirt and I've got this doodad inside, which is also included in the, in the shopping link in the description. This here is my sticky ink mat. Yes, ma'am. We're still doing my birthday party. Whoop, whoop. There will be, um, all right. So I got to tell you about this too. Do I do it now? Yeah, I'll do it now. So we're doing my birthday party next week. My birthday is actually on Friday and we were supposed to be at a really big vendor show, but um, it got canceled but kind of last minute. So I'm like, oh my God, we're going to totally do a party with my friends. So if you are in our Facebook group, um, the procrastination room, which you will find a link in the description as well. Um, come on over there because that's where I'm going to post the Zoom party link. I'm not actually going to put the party anywhere but on Zoom. So you can't just kind of lurk and watch. Uh, well, you can lurk and watch, but you have to just be on Zoom. I don't want to put it out on Facebook or, or YouTube or anywhere. Um, but you're totally going to, everybody want, should come because it's going to be like a totally 90s party. Like I have a ribbon to wear in my hair and I'm going to be making some stuff and we're going to play truth or, dare, truth, truth or dare. Don't worry, you guys. The dares are like super innocent. Like I literally looked up truth or dare for children <laughs> because I don't want to embarrass anybody. I want it to be fun and I, it's not about getting embarrassed. Um, it's literally just going to be fun and we are going to play new kids on the block and we're going to have all sorts of, um, just, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And I'm probably going to be high, all hyped up on sugar because I love my birthday and I love cake and we're partying at like eight o'clock Eastern. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yes. So all that, if you do not have an invitation, if you're not in the procrastination room, please leave me a comment. And I will make sure that you get an invitation because you know what? I love everybody and I love my birthday and I love to have fun and we're going to have fun. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. Thank you, Teresa. Please thumbs up our video, whether you are on Facebook or YouTube, we would appreciate that. Okay. So back to what we're doing, you guys. Okay. Ink mat, sticky ink mat. Um, this is included in the shopping link with all of the supplies because um, it's really, really great for holding your t-shirt in place and you can smooth out all of the wrinkles. So you get an extremely smooth application with this ink mat. Now this one is the 11 by 17 inch, but I actually cut it in half so that um, it was a little more manageable because I'm never, you're, you guys, you're never gonna do a throat to crotch design on a t-shirt. Like, let's be honest. You're just never going to do that. <laughs> I did that once. Actually, I did that once. I put a pattern on a t-shirt and it came out terrible. Like I did the, I tried to pattern the whole thing. It was awful. It was, it was awful. So I won't be doing that again. Anyway, so you stick it in between your shirt and it keeps your shirt from moving around and it keeps the ink from going through from the front side down to the back side, so that, you know, you have like a, a double-sided shirt, which nobody wants either. So this is our guy. Now, before I actually put this, the ink mat in, I held the shirt up to myself and kind of did like a, a finger measurement, if you will, of how far down I wanted the design to start. Because um, half of the time, what I usually will actually do is I will put the shirt on and then I'll take a little piece of washi tape and, and put it on myself where I want it to start. Um, that just gives you a really good indicator of where to put your design because once you get these shirts laid down, they don't look like anything. They just, they look like a towel for that matter. But, you know, we have, there are certain words that we don't necessarily want in certain places. So I recommend you plan that out a little bit. So I figured out with this particular collar, because it's, it's a little higher up, it's, a little more than a crew neck, I feel like. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I figured out that I wanted, this is my total measurement. Like, this is the thing. Four fingers and then two more. <laughs> so right there is where I want to start this design. <laughs> totally, totally mathematical and logical, right? Okay. So 
four fingers, two more right there. So I'm going to pull that up just a smidge. And we're going to lay it down for straight as we can. Now, if you are a slightly more particular person and you want to make sure everything is super duper duper straight, what I would do is fold your shirt so that you have straight lines coming from the corners here and iron it so that those lines stay and they will give you very, very straight lines all the way down. I kind of just wing it because my body's not straight. So why should my clothes be? <laughs> That's my theory anyway. All right. Okay. So we've got our design down now. You may have noticed if you've been around for a minute, you may have noticed that um, I did not fuzz this. So I didn't put it down on the fuzzing cloth and go whoop, 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 and then put it down on something. You know why? Because I'm on fabric. You don't need to fuzz when you're using fabric. Okay. Vintaging time. So this is our ink, Chalkology ink. Look at that. I got two cameras here. Woo fancy stuff. Um, this is our ink. So the ink is what you use on glass, on um, metal, and on fabrics. So things that you want to be able to wash and have this design stay or um, something that you can heat set. So bake it in an oven, set it with an iron. I have Storm and <laughs> Storm and White. Okay. These are the two colors that I prefer to do all of my vintaging with. Now, I have also done this ocean mist and the storm to give it kind of a blue, blue-gray thingy. White. <laughs> um, so the blue in the storm looks really great, too. That's ocean mist. But in the link, I put um, the white and the storm because that's kind of more your classic vintage colors. So this is the easy peasy part. Now, guys, when we're working with ink, we do have to be a little bit more cautious. We can't be all super duper willy nilly unless you tape off some extra space around. Because <laughs> otherwise, like if you get ink over here, game over. It's there forever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take... We're going to, you've seen my marbling and my hot mess or whatever we call it kind of a technique. And that's what we're going to do with the ink. I don't know if you, did you know that you could do this with ink? You can blend all of your inks together and it's really, really cool. So I am literally making a mess here. A controlled mess, remember, because I can't wash this off. <laughs> But we're doing that because we're going to mix it all together real nice later and get that kind of distressed vintage. Help me come up with some other words for vintage, guys. I just keep saying vintage because, like, it it, it looks like, like it's faded in some spots. And that's actually another little bit, another little technique you can do with this is if you really, really, really wanted it vintage, you could literally omit parts of this, like put, take some washi tape and just cover over the design so that it leaves out pieces so that it really like wore off. That is a whole nother, well, you know what, maybe we'll do that on the other one, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to do that on the other one yet. Because like I said, these are my actual clothes. <laughs> oh, retro. Yes. Thank you, Brenda. That's perfect. Oh, I like that. I'm retro, by the way, because this is going to be my 40th birthday on next Friday. And I will be here again doing another live video. This time it'll be with my husband because he's it's my birthday. He's forced to spend the day with me. <laughs> when is the last time you guys actually had like a birthday party i was thinking about it I, my last actual birthday party 
was um, my 30th birthday. We had a really great, actually, Nikki was there. Hey, Tammy. Hello. Hello, my friends. So here's, here's my mask, guys. There, we're done. Woo. Kidding. Just kidding. All right. I did make a mess, though, because I went and put some gray on my white, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Ready? Paper towel. Great. Oh, make sure you have your paper towels handy. Because to make this look really good, we're going to we're going to swirl it all together. We're going to use our finger and it's going to be fine. It kind of just blends everything together nice, like I might actually have to put some more paste on here. I wasn't, or uh, ink. P.S. You can use paste on fabric as a note. However, once you wash that fabric, the paste will, well, the paste will probably stain. Um, but the paste will go away. So if it's something that you don't ever intend to wash, like a decorative towel or a um, like a little pennant banner, yeah, I'm going to need some more paste, then totally by all means, just use paste. If that's what you've got, use paste. I'm a fan of using what you already have. Oh, wow. All of you guys are in... Telly says that her mom throws her, her brother, and her husband a birthday party all at once because they're all within eight days of each other. That's insane. Are you near any holidays, too? Because that that's a little... <laughs> My poor husband. His birthday is Thanksgiving week. And if it's on Thanksgiving, like, he gets a cake, but <laughs> they don't usually do anything. It's so sad. Poor husband. He's always ignored. At least that's what he has you think. All right. I just needed more paste. I didn't, or, uh, damn it. I need more ink. I didn't put enough on. So. I usually, for myself, I usually go heavier on the ink. Um, just because sometimes I feel like it doesn't always, like, soak into the fabric real super great. So I go a little heavy and then I'm back, back, back off after. All right. Okay. I think, guys, I think it's time. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. I'm so excited. Can I wait? All right. Me. Oh, yeah. I'm. <laughs> So and this, I'm doing two shirts today, so I kind of got to get my butt in gear here because I'm just, all right, all right, that's good enough. Let's do this. Ready? All right. Check your fingers to make sure you don't have any ink because you make a mess. Remember I said before, permanent. Huh? Look at it. Oh my God, this is perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. So we have some of the brightness from the white, but it's not, it is not super stand out, bright white in your face. <gasps> yes, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, I just remembered a little tip. So if you have a shirt that's not, um, that feels a little fuzzy, I'm sure you know what that means, but, um, if it would pill or something like that relatively quickly, you can still ink on these. However, get yourself one of those, um, like sweater shaver things 
and go over the part that you want to ink. What that will do is it will actually cut some of the um, fibers down so that they're flatter and closer to the actual surface of the shirt so that when you pull up your transfer, it doesn't pull any of those and they already have ink on them with it. So you will get a super, super crisp design every time. Isn't this cool, you guys? All right, we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do it on Hello Pumpkin. Oh, I want to show you too. I made this yesterday. Um, I went live in our in our team page. So in case you didn't know, you, if anybody is watching and you absolutely love this stuff and you're thinking, oh my God, I can totally do this. You have the option to actually become a designer like me and um, get a discount on your items and get all sorts of perks and freebies and all the stuff by being a designer. And if you have any questions about that, you can message me, you can reach out, you can comment below, whatever, and I'll make sure that you have some information. Um, but why I telling you all that? Because I went live in our team group yesterday and I made this with that same transfer that I just used. And look how cool it looks on a chalkboard too. Well, actually this is an Odette board, but I mean, it's, it's a chalkboard. <laughs> it's a reusable board. No, tell you, it's a real thing. Um, my, <laughs> it's a little electric gadget and it's got, so a lot of people tend to use um, like a Bic, uh, disposable razor. That's the word I wanted. You can use a, a disposable razor too, but a lot of people, well, at least a lot of people in the eighties, <laughs> and me, uh, have a sweater shaver. So it's a little electric gadget. You stick a couple batteries in and it's got a, a head, almost like a, like a men's um, electric razor. And it will, it's meant to shave the pilling off of clothing and it pulls it up, sucks it in and puts it into a little, a little container that you can pull out and throw away. Not the whole container, you dump it. I mean, I figured that was obvious, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I love those things too. Okay, same deal. This guy, this guy. <laughs> Four fingers and a couple more. <laughs> My super special techniques. Pretty sure that was where we were. Oh, no, see. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same exact technique so you can watch it all over again. Um, just because I love it so much. Yeah, totally Google it. Google it. It's there. <laughs> it's a thing, I promise. So my mom was kind of a neat freak, so it's like totally, it's totally her thing. All right, I'm gonna, gonna do, I think I might do a little bit more white on this one. No, I'm not. I mean, I don't think I am. I'm not going to intentionally anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Dabbing. I'm going to just do more from the start. Whoa, that's a big old goober. Okay, well, whatever. It's there, right? Remember I told you you can essentially not mess this up? This is what I mean. If you're like Jamie, you're good to go because Jamie's a hot mess, man. There. Okay, so check it out. If you don't want to get your fingers all in the ink, you can use your little stir stick to just kind of, yeah, see, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki says she has a little buzzer thing and that's exactly what it does. It sounds like an electric, well, it is an electric razor. Um, yeah, see, I'm not crazy. I mean, I'm crazy. I'm just not wrong about this particular item. <laughs> I should have had the husband's shirt. I have his flannel sitting next to me because I figured you guys, you know, you want to talk to the husband too. 
I tell him all the time that you guys like him better than you like me. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So the one thing with this like hot mess sort of a technique business is you do tend to use a lot more paste or ink um, and you end up with a custom color so you can't exactly stick it back in the jar but 99 and a half percent of the time just because i like to hedge my debts um the result is so worth it so if you are ever thinking that you want to uh, try a little hot mess or you want to do something different and fun, go for it, guys, because you know what? It's worth it. With great risk comes great reward or something like that. All right. I was seeing a little extra white in there, so I was trying to pull... Um, pull some of the gray in. <laughs> oh, yes. Husband and I have a good time. That is for sure. What you see on this channel is what we are all the time. Ta-da! Da, 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 da. Oh, I love this one, too. This one almost looks a little camo. Ah, uh, you can't see it at all. There. Well, that's a little better. It looks a little, a, just a little bit camo, I think, because I had some bigger dots of the white in there. Um, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Oh, I cannot wait to wear these on our trip. Because let's be honest, that's why I made them. <laughs> We're going to look at leaves and wander around in the fall. I needed appropriate attire. Right? Thank you, Telly. Telly's there with the oohs and the ahs. You guys, I should have put that in the description. I forgot to tell y'all. It's required um, when we do live videos that uh, you see something. And when the transfer comes off, there's an ooh and an aha. <laughs> oh, how cute. All right. I'm really happy with these. What do you guys think? Really, really, really happy. And you know what? I'm really happy with this one. I um, I don't usually wear this color, but I love the vintage on this particular maroony color. Um, so again, everything that I use today to create these both of these looks is in the link in the description. Well, the two links in the description. And you know what? The... The transfer that this is uh, from is actually a four pack. There's like four different designs and there's a few different options too. There's a whole set that is um, Christmas too. So Lord knows I will be making some Christmas t-shirts too. <laughs> but you can switch out and get whatever design you really want. But I am just loving this guy and that one. I've used that transfer quite a bit already. But anyway, I'm sitting here basically talking to myself at this point. Oh, I was going to tell you how, what happens, how to get these permanent. Almost forgot. So, perfect question, Brenda. Thank you. <laughs> so, the, um, so, the ink mats that are in here, the hard, sticky thing, those, I leave those in. I let the shirt dry overnight, 24 hours, something like that. Usually I go 24 hours just to be extra super sure. Um, but also I get distracted and kind of forget. So leave, I leave them for about 24 hours to dry. I leave the ink mat right in them just so it's easier to move around and the, the design doesn't get smushed. Um, and then once they're dry, you are going to take your... Cricut Easy Press, this guy here, or an iron, and heat set it. So when they're dry, you put a piece of parchment paper, not wax paper, 
parchment paper and put it over the design and you're going to heat set every part that has ink to it. So uh, you're going to use the heat setting that is appropriate for the material that you're using. And then if you're ironing, it's four minutes each side. And by each side, I mean this side and then the back side of the inked part. So you're going to turn your shirt inside out and you put your parchment paper always at the ink part. So when you flip the shirt inside out, your parchment paper is going to go inside your shirt to protect ink from touching the back of your shirt. Does that make sense, guys? So we're keeping making sure that the ink stays where we put the ink, right? If you're using your Cricut Easy Press, it's about 30 seconds each side. That's why I own an Easy Press now, because I actually didn't even own an oven, an iron. <laughs> when I started making shirts, <laughs> I thought about going and buying a $20 iron. And I'm like, no, no, no. I am going to buy the $200 Easy Press because I don't have time for that. But that's it. And then you just wash them just like normal because they're not vinyl. They're not going to peel. They're not going to crack. They're not nothing. They are a regular T-shirt now. And as soon as you heat set them, you just wear and wash like normal. Pretty cool, huh? I love it. I should have wore another shirt that I inked. But I have a Christmas one that I have to find. I have to find it. I don't know why, guys, why is it that our favorite clothes always grow legs and run away? It baffles me. So, yeah. All right. I am going to go set these in a safe place so that they can dry. You're very welcome, Brenda. Thank you all for joining me. I had a great time. And remember, we have... Um, Drop me your email, send me a message, something. Uh, if you want an invite to my birthday party, it's all done on Zoom and it is, it's not embarrassing. Like there's not going to be anything embarrassing about it. it. I mean, except me, I'm, I'm going to make a fool of myself because that's what I do. Um, so let me know if you want an invite to my birthday party. The links for all of the things that we use today are in the description. Yes, Nikki, this is the exact same process for dish towels. Um, and the club transfer, which is this one, is not in the shopping link. It is its own separate link. So you can, but you can order both, all of the things together. And if you are interested in becoming a chalk couture designer like me and creating beautiful things, then shoot me a message and let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions or you can just leave comments in the, um, your questions in the comment section here and we will make sure that you have answers. All right, guys. Thank you so, so very much. And, uh, you know, give me a like and subscribe. Hearts, all the things. Bye, everybody.